Hello, this is Rahul from Learning Simplified. In the last class, we have seen about bytes and words. A byte is nothing but a, a collection of eight bits and a word is nothing but a collection of several bytes. And the word size of a computer depends on its architecture. It varies from computer to computer. In this video, we will learn what is the byte ordering in that specific word. Suppose if you have a word, if you have a memory, Let's say this is a memory consisting of several words. These are the words and each word is of four byte size, four bytes. So we have byte one, two, three and four, one, two, three and four, one, two, three and four and so on. Now, now what is the word address, word address? These are the word address in red. First word starts at 0, second at 4 because 4, four bytes comprise one word and next word address is at 8. Now what is the byte address? First byte address is at 0, second byte address is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If bytes are stored in this order where the starting byte address is from the left to right, then this is known as, this is known as big endian scheme or big endian byte ordering, byte ordering. There is another scheme where the bytes are stored in the reverse order. Let us consider this memory. Let's say this is a memory consisting of several words and each word is of same size that is four bytes, four bytes. And uh, the word address of first byte starts at zero, second at four, third at eight. See the word addresses are same in both orderings now let's see the byte or byte ordering let's make the cells for, to represent each byte now let's see in this scheme the byte ordering starts from the rightmost side that is zeroth byte is here first byte is here second byte is here third byte is here these bytes are ordered in the reverse direction in each word so the fourth byte starts here, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th and 11th. Now this scheme is called little endian, little endian byte ordering, byte ordering scheme. Now let us consider an example of both of uh, these uh, ordering schemes. So let us have an example memory. This is of big endian scheme. Big endian. We have a word of four bytes. Uh, one, two, three, and four. So we have the data as one A, C eight, B two, four. 6 f0 8c 1e df this is byte 0 word 0 and this is word 4 word uh, the address of this word is at location 4 now let's consider the memory in little endian scheme same the word size is also same which is 4 bytes 1 2 3 and 4. The data is also same. Okay. 1A, C8, B246, F0, 8C, 1E, D, F. And uh, word address is 0. Second word address is 4. Now, let us calculate the value of each word so 
what is the value of this word let us calculate what is the value of this word this word value is 1a c8 b246 this is nothing but a's and b's all these are hexadecimal number system which means uh, 0 to 9 are represented in 4 bit binary numbers in hexadecimal and a b c d e f a is nothing but 10 because we have already got 0 to 9 numbers now next a is 10 b is 11 c is 12 d is 13 e is 14 f is 15 so with the help of 4 bits we can represent 16 numbers right so we are representing 0 through 15 now what is the value of 1 in hexadecimal number system it is the value of uh, 1 is 0 0 0 1 value of a is a is nothing but 10 and 10 in 4 bit binary number is 1 0 1 0 and the value of c is 12 so it is 1 1 0 0 value of 8 is 1 0 0 0 b is 11 okay so 1 0 1 1 and 2 is 0 0 1 0 4 is 0 1 0 0 6 is 0 1 1 0 now I have calculated the, va the value of this binary number which is 4 4 9 3 6 0 4 5 4 this is the value of this number here in big endian scheme this is in big endian byte ordering scheme now let us see what is the value of this word in little endian scheme first we have to consider this byte the byte ordering starts from this byte that is from the rightmost byte so the first 4 6 then b2 b2 then c8 this byte then 1a now what is the value of 4 what is the value of 4 in 4 bit binary number it is 0 1 0 0 6 is 0 1 1 0 b is 11 so the value is 1 0 1 1 2 is 0 0 1 0 c is nothing but 12 so the value is 1 1 0 0 the value of 8 is 1 0 0 0 1 is 0 0 0 1 and a is 10 which is nothing but 1 0 1 0 I have also calculated this value which is 1 186 1 2 1 7 5 4 now you can observe that these two numbers are different so the numbers vary in different architectures if you use big endian we have to know it we are using big endian if you are using little endians byte ordering so we have to know before processing some data why we have to know big endian and little endian ordering is suppose you have a network and one computer uses big endian scheme and the other computer uses little endian scheme so let's say this is a computer which uses big endian and uh, this is a computer which uses little endian and there is a link between these two computers and you are sending some data on this link how do you send this data similar uh, in in big endian scheme but this has to look at the data in the little endian scheme so this has to inform this computer that it is sending data in big endian scheme so that it can it can convert this date this big endian scheme into little endian scheme and so if we convert this number into little little endian scheme it looks like 
uh, something like this it's nothing much complicated we just have to reverse the numbers 46 is stored uh, i mean 1a is stored from the right side 1a is stored here next c8 is stored here b2 is stored here 46 is stored here which is nothing but this is interpreted uh, again as while computing it it is interpreted as 1a c8 b2 46 which is same as oops which is same as this number all right so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed the video see you next time until then happy learning